Everybody, we are here getting ready for our first Presbyterian Family Sunday School Advent. We enjoy this so much every year, but this year it's a little bit different. We're going to do our Advent virtually. That means there will be recordings. We will see our friends and that will be wonderful and we will also be safe from the virus germ. Our theme this year is timeless traditions of the Christmas season. And we will find out where our traditions come from, um, what these traditions mean. In our first week, we will talk about the Advent wreath and the Advent calendar. In our second week, we will study the nativity scene. Our third week brings us to the Christmas tree. And in the fourth week, we will talk about gift giving. What do these traditions mean? There are so many. We have so many to think about. We better get started. Hi, welcome to the first Sunday of Advent. Each week, different families from First Pres will be hosting the lesson, and today we'll talk about what Advent is and about the traditions of the Advent wreath and Advent calendar. Let's start with the word Advent. It comes from the word Adventus in an old language called Latin, and the word Adventus means coming. What do you think is coming during Advent? Let's see if the boys know. I don't want to come on camera. Come on. Nope, but here's my answer. Ah, Rudolph. Well, he may be coming too, but that's not what's important. Any other ideas? Well, since we're using visual aids, how about this? Ah, presents. Well, presents may be coming too, but that's not what's important about Christmas. Dear, don't let me down here. Okay, I think I've got this. What we are really celebrating each Christmas is the coming, the advent of baby Jesus. During the Advent season, we remember that before the first Christmas, the world was waiting for the coming of a savior. Someone to save the world from all our sins, all the bad things we do and think, and all the mistakes we make. Prophets in the Old Testament of the Bible had foretold that a Savior would come, and they even foretold that he would come in Bethlehem. The world was waiting for that Savior's coming. Thank you. Good answer. The Bible tells us many things about Jesus' coming, and one of them is our verse of the week, which you can find in your materials. This is from the New Testament in the Bible, in the book of John, chapter one, verse nine. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. The season of Advent is a time to remember and get ready each year for Jesus Christ coming into the world as an infant on the first Christmas. To help us prepare, the church has a long tradition of observing the season of Advent over the four Sundays leading up to Christmas. And today we're looking at two traditions that many people use as we wait and prepare ourselves for Christmas. The first is the Advent wreath, like this one here. The Advent wreath has a circle of evergreens that represent God's never ending love and eternal life and the candles represent the light Jesus brought into the world. There are four candles around the outside that stand for hope, peace, joy, and love, and in the center is a Christ candle. The Advent wreath is a way of reminding us each Sunday to wait in hope for Christ's birth. We'll light an Advent candle during our lessons each week for four weeks. Another tradition that families use during the Advent season is an Advent calendar. 
You have one in your materials today. And each day during Advent has an ornament with a Bible verse to read with your family. And then you can color or check off that day's ornament. So when Christmas comes, you'll have finished your tree. You and your family can use the Advent calendar to remember baby Jesus coming as you count down to Christmas. Every week we'll be hearing from some of our friends here at First Presbyterian to tell us about their own traditions. Let's take a look. The Boons have a lot of Advent and Christmas traditions, but most of them center around food. And Sybil is helping me make a Slovak sauerkraut and mushroom soup that has passed down from my family. Okay, mix. And it has 12 ingredients, 12 spices, all for the 12 apostles. After the soup, we have special uh, dumplings with poppy seed and spare ribs and kielbasa. And each person has to eat a garlic and honey and the garlic signifies that you are going to be strong for the next year and the honey that you will have special relations and we also set a place an empty place for all the dead in your family so they can enjoy christmas with you this advent season we remember that advent is a season of hope it is a time for waiting of the coming of christ the light of the world Long ago, prophets foretold Christ's coming, and the world waited. Christ came as foretold, not as a worldly king, but as a baby, born in a manger in Bethlehem. We light the first candle of Advent, the hope candle, as we enter this season of hope. Please join me in prayer. God, Thank you for sending your son to the world on the first Christmas. Help us to wait in hope this Advent season for the good news of Jesus' is coming. Amen. Now we'll enjoy a song called Come, Thou Long Expected Jesus. This reminds us Jesus had been expected for a long time. This video shows us how even during the times of the Old Testament, Jesus was God's plan. Watch the video and see if you and your family can pick out pictures of different Old Testament stories that happened during the time that the world was waiting for baby Jesus to come.
Did you guys find some pictures of Old Testament stories? I saw the creation and Noah's Ark, Abraham and Isaac, and Moses leading the people across the Red Sea. It's amazing to know that all that time, the world was waiting for the advent of Jesus. Next, we'd like to invite you to do a craft that will help you remember the tradition of the Advent wreath. Supplies for the craft are in your materials along with instructions. Also in your materials, you'll find some reflection questions. We encourage you to talk about these with your friends and family, or just think them through on your own. They're just inside the front cover of uh, week one, the tradition of Advent family reflection questions. Before you turn to the craft and questions, please join us in a closing prayer. Dear God, thank you for this first week of Advent. Remind us this week that Advent is a time of hope and that what we are waiting for with hope during the Advent is Christ coming at Christmas and eventually is coming again. Amen. Amen. Thanks. Enjoy your craft and questions, and we look forward to seeing you next week.